Somehow, we don't think this is what the Chamber of Commerce had in mind when they invited you to Orlando, Florida, and the Comp USA Citrus Bowl. Happy New Year, everybody. We've got a dandy of a matchup. The Buckeyes of Ohio State and the Volunteers of Tennessee. Nice to have you along with us with Dick Vermeil. I'm Brad Musburger. Dick. Demetrius Stanley and Sean Springs are back deep. There's Demetrius. But the fellow they want to handle the ball as much as possible is number 24, Sean Springs. Let's see how Tennessee tees it up to start the game. A short kickoff. Springs on the run. Has got it at the 18-yard line. Springs down at the 30. Number 14 from St. Henry, Ohio. This is his last game as a Buckeye. Eddie George, we don't have to tell you about all the honors he's won. Nicky Sualua will set up in front of him. He'll be the fullback trying to clear the way. And, of course, Bolitnikoff winner Terry Glenn on the outside. And we get set to go. Five rushmen show for Tennessee. Two backers right behind him. Point goes to the air. Sualua up into that the 31-yard line by Raymond Austin. The big offensive line, and if you're looking for an advantage on an off track, you look for the big fellas like Orlando Pace, the Lombardi winner. Only one senior in that talented group. Jamie Sumner will not be back. Matched against this defense, Gallion, the leading tackler for the Volunteers. But, folks, keep an eye on number one. See if Little can get off the marks. He's the left defensive end. They work a trick with him, and they swallow up the Heisman Trophy winner. Defensively, in that backfield, De'Ron Jenkins is a major league cover corner. Number 18 for the Volunteers. They're two superstars. He'll put it up here. Needs nine yards over the middle. Well short to Glenn. They got it into Glenn's hands. They're a very Seven good return. punt return team, Brent. Very good punt return team. They better be. That's a whale of a punt. <laughs> I'm telling you, folks. Happy homecoming. Get it, get it. Hurry, hurry. Oh. Coming out on the 20 yard. <laughs> Peyton Manning, what a sensational story. Look at the number of interceptions, folks. That's what to focus on with him. Peyton simply does not make mistakes. Now, Jay Graham, we rave about George, but Jay Graham is the record setter. And Knoxville, they set up behind the fullback. They bring the tight end, they load the left side, and they will bring Graham there, and Graham's got a crease. This offensive line, centered by Jeff Smith, believes they can open the way for Graham. Now, they're not saying that Graham's going to come on for 300 yards on this track, but they'd like to get well over 100 with him against this defense. Best be careful of number 94. Rabel, defensive player, defensive lineman of the year in the Big Ten. He's a whale of a story. He'll be back next year. Graham again stretches, cut back to the 30-yard line and close to a first down. So here's Sean Springs who heads up this defensive backfield. The two safeties, they're very thin back there. Yeah. A first down run, a fake by Mayton, and Mayton throws it out using his tight end for about seven yards that time. Chester Ford, the fullback, continues to set up in that straight eye. So they're just running straight ahead, and now it'll be third and short. Let's see what Manning can come up with here in third and three. The quick toss. Go to the first down. Major league hit by Sean Springs. Now they go one back with Graham. Three wide receivers. And he hurdles one would be tackling to the 44 yard line. They need six yards for a first down. They're audibling against this bare front. This odd defense. Intercepted. Blitz. Manning sprints away from it to the left and completes the pass. Short of the first down. Stanley back. Not a good punt. Oh, does it? Falls on it. Tackle over formation, Brent. Both offensive tackles on the same side that time. They had empty seats they wouldn't be trying to get away from, eh, partner? From the end zone, Hoyne got Glenn wide open. That was a soft corner that time. 
basic eye tossed George Lewis up in George on his own and nothing was doing three of their teams in action Ohio State here with second and long and point handing off now using Sue Lewis a running back there is great gang tackling Don man on man against Glenn right now and he's coming up in a bump and run on him Glenn gets off the line they can't find him go other way it's three and out and to watch the volunteers cut his hand but stayed for four quarters. tough guy now Fair is back deep and Bartholomew nails another one to the 20 yard line and Farrell try to dance free and he can't Tennessee ball inside the 25 yard line everything was being checked while we were away on that uh, commercial break first down now and Manning getting good time firing to Kent there is his star receiver Joey Kent out of Huntsville turnovers they will be critical as they have the entire bowl season good fake by Manning gotta go deep Got a man. He's well covered, and Howard couldn't come up with the interception. Springs standing up at the far 44-yard line. I will check it out. Number one. They did not get it. I don't believe, although it's close. You can see the four down linemen now. First down. Slide it wow! Slide it. Nice. Howard has stepped up big time. On second down and long, the safeties for the Bucks back off now in this coverage. And Graham is swallowed up by Matt Pinkus. Third down and 16. In the middle of the pocket now, he's got Kent, and Kent dropped it at midfield. Oh. They're on it. Got it. Got it. I got it. Block punt. The Buckeyes are going to take over with about 25 yards to go for a score. That was McClellan, the sophomore. Who They're leading 29 to 7. Face mask. Face mask penalty coming down. Scoring opportunity. You knew they were going to come with George. Here he is again, short of the goal line, and that time Leonard Little. He's no calling an audible. That's a play. Touchdown, Buckeyes, as Eddie George squirts into the end zone. Weather conditions can do a whole lot to change a game plan, can't they, Coach? Yeah, and they audible fouled up the play quarterback runs into the backfield but at least he ran into the right guy from Louisville will put it down and the Buckeyes strike first in the rain and slop the Heisman Trophy winner Eddie George strikes first a two yard touchdown run and the Buckeyes lead it turf will nullify a little bit of that speed but this one go out of the back after he yeah. tried it. Now the defense moves. They're playing a little cat and mouse. Oh, nice job. Nice job. To watch the slot man who's in the formation for Manning on second down and nine. Manning rolling in that direction. Drops it off underneath to a safety valve receiver and Manning needs to reach the 30-yard line for the first down. Short drop slam. Got it. Tackle by Rob Kelly. Three wide receivers. And into the left releases. Manning looks to the safety valve and swings it to Graham. Graham's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as Ryan Miller. The first quarter comes to an end. Buckeyes, seven of the volunteers, nothing. As we start the second 15 minutes. Ohio State doing a good job of disguising coverage intent. Screen. Graham drops it. Marcus Nash slot to the left. Manning looks that way. That quick screen now to the outside to Price. And Price crosses midfield. And whistle. An unbelievable statistic. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. Try it again. The Buckeyes bluff that they're coming and then they go back to set the return. Stanley on the 14-yard line. Dances back to the right side, and it'll be the Buckeyes' ball at the 25-yard line. Here's first and 10 as they dash from the sideline to get started. Moyne, a senior quarterback, could run it, and that is complete to the 39-yard line. Just defined the Buckeyes to bring Eddie George at him, and they're going to try big, and he's 
tripped up as he comes through. Huge hole on the left side. Mr. Raymond Arts who had come up into the pile that time. Second down and seven. And the Buckeyes star is short of the first down. For two and third down conversion. Here they come. Good pickup. Coin middle wants Glenn bump. And pass is short. To catch the ball, run the turn-ins rather than square outs and comebacks and that kind of stuff, right? Bartholomew is just wailing away and Fair decides to come out from the three. That's a mistake. Out to the 11-yard line. He should have let that one. 12.03 to go. Mark Levine, the backup tailback. Short drop Manning. Nash. That's Chester Ford who offsets the fullback spot. Manning sprinting right, throwing underneath. And Marcus Nash with the completion. The returns at the right linebacking spot for the Bucks. Graham with a crease. Graham to the 42-yard line. And there's a slot receiver down to the left. Manning, the faked and fool. Brable's got him. Brable's got him at the 34-yard line. Is that he would never play again, and uh, he simply went and found a doctor who gave him permission. <laughs> I guess they drop it off, and that's my kind of football. Third down and 11. Manning. Manning in trouble. And throws it away. And that was Luke Fickle who was closing in on it. Yeah. Offense move. Offense moving again. Dead ball. Ball start. Offense. That's Five right. Penalty. Repeat for a The outside corner. That's a low line driver. He gets it. Stanley bobbles it again at the 10. From the penalty flag. Fumble. The Buckeyes may have still loose. They're still going after that slippery ball. Woo. Let's see now. Buckeyes have it. There it comes out. The receiving team on a run back. Penalty from front of Bob. Dudley the tight end behind him. And George will move in that direction. And Dick, there wasn't much of a crease over there behind no. Big Pace that time. He is at the left defensive end for the Volunteers. Cross charge. Low. Glenn went after it incomplete. Third down. Showing double zone. Jenkins they backs do. off at Tillman. Coin. Right place. Time. Got it to Dudley on the ground. Volunteers go after it. Let's see. The Buckeyes indicate it was marked down. It's a first down here for the Buckeyes. Showing they're going to come after him. Or bluff. He's audibly. And a penalty flag is thrown. Dead ball. Dead ball. Full start. Offense. Five yard penalty. They're loaded up inside, Brent. Drop off the screen, George battling out the handle and can't. And the big problem here today, he's in there with George. They split the two tailbacks out. Pearson blocking for him, and they run George the other way. And it was a little bit high. They already had a blocked punt. Showing the double zone again. George. Little forces him back into the inside of the defense. They could not move. 65 almost had one down inside the five-yard line. You can call that first one. I mean, he has that home cooking will do that for a leg, folks. I think it's a sunny weather. <laughs> They're set in the eye. Graham behind the left side penalty flag. Bonhaus makes the stop for the Bucks. Tight in Winfield. Locks up on him. They back off now and they give him safety help on that side. Manning, though, looks the other way. A wobbler, pullback lane. Helmet shattering tackle. Turn over. Got it. That was Ty Howard who lost his helmet, knocked the ball free. Now George set in the eye behind Sualua. Here he comes, left side, big hole. Orlando Pace blows it open. Eddie George does a better job of running. George with little hanging on. That's the end over. Loads up. Yep. The tackle's on the right-hand side. George will go behind the two tackles to the seven-yard line. Second down. Showing blitz. George. George to the three-yard line. Glenn comes behind home. Short of the end 
zone and let's see if they got the first down. Right, here they come. Fourth down. Inches for the first down. Down here. There comes Graham trying to stretch it out. Good effort. And he is down at the seven yard line. The season record. Set in the eye formation. Pfeiffer will lead the way, and the Buckeyes are getting good penetration. Third down. Manning. Trap down at the three yard line. That was Pinkus. Back. Out. They didn't rush it. No, they're going to set up a return tick. They got enough time. They're going to get good field position. Stanley, if he just hangs on this time, down he goes at the 37-yard line. First down and 10. Now Hoyne getting protection. Left side throws it out of bounds. Jordan. Double zone coverage. Hoyne in trouble. Down he goes at the 45-yard line. Burton, number 84. By Shane Burton. This is third down, and the Bucks have got to get to the 27-yard line now. And Hoyne's going to try to set the screen. Ah. George drops it. Oh, they had a show of like a true defense being played on the field rather than a punt return. A little was picked up. No. It'll come out. Defense, one side or the other. If they don't turn it over. Yeah, here comes a nice runoff tackle. And Graham breaks one. Yeah. That's the first down, and the rear back, and Manning puts it into Graham's hands again, and he breaks well, free at midfield. He catch He's in a foot race. Howard trying to get him. It's Graham. Touchdown, Tennessee. It's automatic in weather like this in the kicking game. Ford does tie it. So Graham. On the ground, Stanley, and is it going to go out of bounds? Yes, it will, and they'll be penalized. Oh, we take right into that crease. More man rush. Point in trouble. He gets away from Little. Now he throws it. Deflected. Almost. Oh, almost. baby. They almost had it back at midfield. Yeah. Second down now with 15 seconds to go. Here's the draw. George. George responding <laughs> to the challenge he issued by Graham. He's at midfield. Eight seconds to go. Tied at seven. And Hoyne holds it back. Jump ball. One by Tennessee on the interception. And that's going to run it out here in the first half. Austin, the safety, picks off the jump ball, and it's a 7-7 tie as the Buckeyes and the Volunteers head to intermission. And right now, we're going to send you to New York and Big John Thunder. We'll get walloped. It'll be a good football Home game for the Trojans. Here's the kickoff now. We're underway in the second half. the 32-yard line before he <laughs> Now Graham, long running back, short drop, wobbly pass, but right into the hands of Nash, who is happy New Year, coach. <laughs> Second down off a of fake. Another wobbly pass, but this one held by Kyler, the freshman. Coming after Litz. Manning incomplete. And interference on Kelly. Disregard the flag. For the volunteers standing inside the 25. Ooh, 28. The Bucks came after it again. Stanley, fair catch, flag is down. Fair catch at the 24 yard line. But they got this instead. Coming from the left side, here come they spread out there. You try to get in front. Kyler, Nash, and Kent on the wideouts for Manning. Great protection. Kent deep. Got it. Got it. Catch, touchdown, Tennessee. Another big play. Did he concentrate on that pass? That was not a perfectly thrown ball, but he hung with it for a 47-yard touchdown, and the 
the Volunteers lead for the first time today. You may not have been able to pivot like that in the first half. Ford adds the extra point, but let me tell you right away what's happened. The Volunteers have said, we've got to go at 11. we got to get off number two. We can't make a living against Howard. <laughs> so they go after Winfield, yeah. and bingo, 14-7, Volunteers. Touchdown pass. Bucks were stopped on a short fourth down. Pearson, who checks in as a return man for Ohio State, will try to cut the oh. He is down at the 20 yard line with Buckeyes turn. Trailing for the first time today. Glenn is off to Hoyne's right. Tillman is off to his left. Dudley is on the right, and here comes George to the 23 yard line. Oh, a couple of gap men for Tennessee as they put six up defensively. Tillman at the 35-yard line. Coming after him again. Point hit on the release. Got it into Glenn's hands at the 40-yard line. And out of bounds. On their star wide receiver. That means Demetrius Stanley has checked into the lineup. Tillman no. bobbling it again out of bounds and incomplete. Base 4-3 now for the Volunteers. This is Pearson. Pearson for about a couple of yards and backer. You don't hear a lot about him. You hear about Scott Gallion. Sualua and George are tight in the backfield. They're doubling up on Glenn right now. They get him to him anyway. And the 45 yard line. Safeties are too deep. And Hoyne firing toward a diving Glenn. No good. Incomplete. New Year's resolution for the coach. No more jumping on the refs. George, George for five yards. We're going double zone. Look, Brent. No, they're rolling oh, over the other side. Back behind Glenn. Couldn't. And score the touchdown just toward the end. Good job. Of the first half. There he pooches this one up. And the Bucks have got a chance, and they have Excellent. downed it. Shavers, the star of their special teams, is really hurting. The loss of Springs has affected the Buckeyes. And they pop Mr. Graham through again, this time to the 11-yard line. Vrabel is at the left defensive end. The Bucks load up with Johnson up there. And uh, as people... Full start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Or any kind of football, really. Look at the Volunteers do not want to turn it over down here. That would be critical. Oh, nice tackle. He has stopped at the six-yard line. And... It's exciting to see a guy hit like that. Was bobbling the snap, the handoff just a touch. Lean by seven here in the third quarter. This time they don't put good the punch. Right. Nice punt. Drive Stanley back oh, to the 43 yard line. It's got a across midfield and down at the 48 yard line. Personal foul. Receiving team. 15 yard penalty. First down. Stem the front. Two yard line on. And on second down, middle, and here's Dudley. He breaks a tackle, and Dudley showing you why they should be getting the ball into his hands. They're moving it now. See, they're showing him up front and then changing it. Off the play fake, Little trying to get at it. Point has to step away, but it was Little who set it up, and Duff cleaned it up. Now Tight end blocker. checks into the game, and they split him with George, and Hoyne will slip out to the back down to the cupboard, going down. Nothing doing that time. They're down. Rushing four. This time he hangs. Good job by Dudley again, but That's Dudley is free of a tackle. Can't get the first down. Down. Now Bartholomew will punt it again. The defensive back fair. Going to let this one. It's going to be downed. And it will go into the end zone. The Buckeyes couldn't hang. 14-7, the score obviously being kept down because of the rain. Receivers have dropped the slippery ball in the first half. Kent goes up, not this time. Had a 47-yard touchdown. Manning leads, though, in touchdown passes with that big play. Graham is brought down in a hurry by Finkus. And he took over this team last year, beat out Brandon Stewart, who transferred to Texas A&M. Watch now as Peyton 
tries to set the screen and he'll throw it away at the feet of the screen man. He's audibling right there. Now Manning. Down the middle. Nash incomplete. Good. Stanley to the middle. In the 32 yard line. And they came in late, didn't they? Boy. Two been, tight ends and one running back. I've been waiting for this formation. George slipping, See. makes his way to the 39. The down. And George to the middle. And on a third down, they've made only two previously. If they threw a play action pass, they had everybody up there committed. He might try a long count, Bobby try Hoy to draw him offside. With Sula and Hoy will keep it again and get it. <laughs> so they're up still there. far down the road for us. Now it is a first down, and Hoyne is motioning to Glenn that he's got fair on him on that side. Hoyne is looking down to the outside. Throws to the sideline. Glenn working the sideline. Beautiful. Holy man, what a tell great you, Hoyne catch. picked it up. He pointed at him. The throw against this front. He is. But look out, black side. Gets it off. Tillman, his first reception of the game, still battling to the 33. Right away, they line up Glenn against him. He's up against 34. They were running that time. The Buckeye assistant coaches didn't see it yet. That's a first down. A safety help from Austin, it appears. Here comes Glenn on the end around, and it's red. By Sanders. After this message and a word from our ABC stations. Now the Buckeyes trail it as we start the fourth quarter. Here comes the blitz. Picked up. Point goes, but he overthrew. They missed the audible. Glenn will come in motion. They put him in motion. Chase with a linebacker. Point over the middle. Got it. Tight end. Touchdown. So Dudley takes it in, and the Bucks are one away from a quick tie. When Glenn went in motion, Brent, the linebackers got a little fouled up. They got a little fouled up. Tight end came off and went down the hole in between the safeties. So we got a new one in Orlando. The comp, USA, Florida Citrus Bowl, Tennessee, and Ohio State. Deadlock, 14. Good kickoff return team, as I've said earlier, Brent. A year ago, it was Alabama and Ohio State. Now it is Tennessee with Fair coming out. And Fair stumbling to the 29-yard line. Yeah, the Buckeyes move a linebacker up on the outside. Oh. Moving across. Burning tight end, Dustin Moore. Offside. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Tennessee's on the balance line right now, too. That's the first time we've seen that. They use the fullback for one of the few times. Again, they run balance down here to the bottom of the field. If they want to go deep, and uh, Graham for the first down, then you know what you have to beat. But we're ahead of the story a little bit. Manny, quickly back now to Kent. Kent is picked up. Brable was coming. He got away from him and Belisari. Not this one. 28 total points here. And this is Graham being stretched out. Delisari and Kelly coming over to help out. And, and more the tight end switches over to the left side. So double tight end formation in this short yardage. And Graham will have a hold down and steps lively Ooh, to the four yard line. Fake. Manning, middle. Got Kent bounces free. And down. 23 yard line. Their leading defensive back. Manning again fakes. Fires wide open as Nash, who slipped. Graham close to the first down. Manning keeps it to the first down. So good luck to both those great teams. Now, it is Manning off a of fake. Wobbler is caught over here on this side and out of bounds by Kyler. Pfeiffer was going to start in motion, stop, came well, back, and now the right. They had all kinds of guys going on that one. They were really loused up on that play. 
False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. And they say their defense isn't as good as it was last year. Now rolling is Manning. Out of the end zone. Down goes Brutus. They're audibly and Luke Joey can't into a position to block. Graham picks up the blitzer. They lob. The receiver fell down. He slipped a couple of times. It is tough for a kicker to plant his leg. Watch as he plants now. Price will hold for him. He's four for nine from this distance this year. He got this one up, and as a result, the 29-yard field goal puts Tennessee up. 17-14. Buckeyes turn. Lots of time left. Taking the gloves off now. Imagine by now they're pretty, pretty soggy. And the uh, short man, they put Glenn over here on fair. George, of course, the running back, as he has been all game. His last one for Ohio State. See when George cut off. Makes the most of it. Jenkins and Glenn, and now Glenn will come in motion. They're going to chase with Jenkins this time. And George pounds to the middle and the 43-yard line. The ruler also there at the downtown athletic club. Tennessee's got it. Big to Graham. Complete. Nash should have had the ball. Another play action fake. And on the right, Bravel in pursuit. Incomplete to lead it by a field goal. Big defensive down, changing the coverage around now. Stunned inside. And it's Graham steps away from the first tackler, but he's not going to get the first down. The call doesn't work, and the Volunteers now will be pooch punting, which set up a touchdown. Oh, nice pitcher. He really popped that Got up. High, fair catch. Stanley, tough weather, and a penalty flag comes down. Five yards. Buffer for Cole. Interference. First down. First down at the 20-yard line. And he'll throw it on first down. Hoying to the middle, and Dudley's there to the 41 and 21 yards. Couldn't get a handle on it. Point. And he's got the other tight end. He's out of bounds. Bluffing blitz inside. Point. Going to run for it. Slides. And he's short of the first down. He it comes down to a huge win for the Bucks. They're loaded up there with eight people. Oh, it's off Calhoun's head. Tennessee's got it. They were running the option, and they hit the fullback in the helmet with the full football. First down. Now Graham hurdling a would-be defender. To, and two tight ends, and let's get after it. They were to tackle over formation. And that was the play they had to run back away from. There's third down now for Tennessee. They need to reach the 36-yard line. Manning throws it, and it's incomplete, and now it's fourth down. Stanley is back. Another big punt. Bucks trying to get some pressure on. He hangs this one high. Stanley, another fair catch. Point middle. George, that was wide open. And George is to the 24-yard line. Pearson into the backfield. Point. A one-hopper incomplete. Jenkins watching Tillman. Point inter... No! He dropped it. Incomplete. Ball was on the ground. Should have been intercepted. By Buckeyes need three yards. Showing double zone, Grant. Double man. He can't run for it. That's Not an eligible man. man. Boss it down. That's an ineligible man, baby. Yeah, I would guess so. Boss it down. Five-yard penalty. 
Lost it down. First down. And a heck of a season. A lot of these Tennessee players are back. Now Manning. He's going. Lobs one up over Howard. And Kent couldn't get it. It'll be second down. Get him two tight ends. Balance up that front and get after him. Here he comes, Mr. Graham. He'll right. go down at the 20 yard line. And the oh, nice fly. Yeah. Ricochet still hammering away inside the 10 yard line. And so now Hall has another one. So now we can forget overtime unless they score a touchdown and miss an extra point, right? Back. You're gonna you're gonna be picked up high. Now Pearson for the Buckeyes. Oh! <laughs> Fumble! Greg King, did he hit him? Now the volunteers are signaling they got it, but they did not. Uh, but point. Dropped it. Just second down and ten. Playing really loose, too deep zone right now. Middle, high, third and ten. Here is third and ten for the Buckeyes. 147. He got it. Into the hands of the big play wide receiver. Goal giving Tennessee a little cushion now. Buckeyes have to drive for the six. George makes a good catch. George. To the 47 yard line. Bill's going to like that. Second and five for the Bucks. And Stanley fumble. fumble! Tennessee! And Ohio State cannot stop the clock. At the bottom of the pile is King. Now you watch Manning. Just take a knee now after an option quarterback. <laughs> the agony of that play for the Buckeyes. There's a lot of other plays throughout the ball game that they'll evaluate as being critical and hurting in the overall outcome of this ball game. Sad day for the seniors to finish with two losses in a row. Don't go to the Rose Bowl when they thought they had it made and now lose this. And, and John hasn't had a lot of success in bowl games. Probably no fault of zone, but they haven't beaten many teams. That will do it for Jack Aroot and Dick Vermeil. I'm Brett Musburger. Northwestern and USC, the granddaddy, is up next on ABC.